Okay, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm all about sustainability. I like to be positive, I like to try to be as supportive as possible, but at the same time, I'm finding that a lot of people are struggling to reach their goals because they have a hard time accepting reality in some of the things you have to do to create the weight loss success you're after. So today I'm gonna give you 10 of the more, maybe kind of harsh truths you need to accept. And while maybe a bit of tough love, do know that it does come from a place of love. And before I get into the first one, make sure you stick around to the end because I really am gonna save the best for last and it's not something you're going to want to miss. Okay, the first one that I want to cover is that you are in fact going to have to do things you don't want to do. Sustainability doesn't mean never do anything you don't want to do. You're going to have to get up and go to the gym when you don't want to. You're going to have to reduce your calories even if you're feeling more hungry. There's a lot of different things that you're going to have to do. Understand though that anytime you're in a cutting phase, this is temporary. The time for more food and more flexibility will come down the road once you're done with your cut and you go into your reverse diet. And remembering this can be huge for you, especially because it can get you out of the deficit faster rather than letting it drag on for too long because you're having a hard time sticking to the plan, slowing your metabolism them down that much more, having all kinds of ups and downs. You have to get that much more aggressive with your diet. You have to do that much more cardio. It takes that much longer. It's like, get in, get it done and get out. But this doesn't mean you can't ever enjoy life and that you can't do things off plan. Of course you can. It's all about balance, but at the same time, it's never going to be easy. The second thing you need to accept is that motivation is going to waver. This is something I hear all the time. Well, I didn't do it because I wasn't feeling very motivated. My motivation hasn't been very high, so I haven't been showing up. And it's like, you know what? I get it. It's a struggle without motivation. Motivation is very powerful and helpful when it's there. I would even argue that almost nobody gets started without motivation. Motivation will be the thing that gets you started, but it's not going to be the thing that keeps you going. That is dedication. So much like I said in the first point, you're going to have to do things you don't feel like doing. Even if it's just part of what you would normally do, just show up, do something. And this is typically what actually gets motivation going anyway. Motivation comes from doing. Most of the time we sit around and we wait for motivation to come to us and it just doesn't work that way. Motivation comes because you go, I'm really unmotivated. I don't feel like it, but I'm going to do it anyways. And that feels good. That builds momentum, that builds wins, that builds pride, and that makes you feel good and starts bringing the motivation back. No matter what, you can't rely on it. It's awesome when it's here, but you also need to understand it comes and goes and it will for the rest of your life. And it's not just you, it's everybody. The third thing I wanna talk about, and while this might seem like an obvious one, is something that escapes a lot of people. And that is just because you're hungry doesn't mean you have to eat. Hell, I would go as far as to say that if you do eat every time you're hungry, you're never gonna reach your goal. Like hunger is a part of the process. You're not gonna be able to completely eliminate it. There's strategies you can take to help minimize it. And I have a video that I'll pass you off to at the end of this one that has strategies you can take to help with hunger, but you are gonna have to accept hunger is a part of the process. And also understand that hunger does go away on its own. Like if you are hungry and you don't eat, eventually it will go. And if you wanna get the results you're after, you have to stop eating every time you're hungry. Number four is a big one. There is no quick fixes. There's no magic solutions. I promise you this. And you have to create a lifestyle if you want lasting results. If you just do something just to get the weight off, just so you can be done, what do you think is going to happen when you're done, right? The weight's going to come flying back on, especially if you don't understand how your metabolism slows down significantly after you go through a dieting phase. Hunger hormones are going to be all out of control. You're going to overeat, especially if you're doing it in an overly restrictive manner. And the weight comes flying back on, usually even worse. And no matter what diet you go on, understand that they're all going to be some form of restriction. There's no such thing as the diet that gets you results where you can eat whatever you want in whatever quantities you want and just be able to live however you want. Want, right? It doesn't work that way. It would be great if it did, but it doesn't. So even if you go on like say keto, it has a restriction of carbs. If you go on a vegan diet, which I understand a lot of people do vegan diets for other reasons besides weight loss, and that's great, I respect that. But if you do it just for weight loss alone, it's through restricting animal products. If you go on the carnivore diet, it restricts practically everything that's not meat. You know what I mean? Like there's all different kinds of diets. They all have certain restrictions and even flexible dieting and tracking macros, that's a form of restriction. I like that better because I get to choose myself what I'm gonna restrict from my diet. And no matter what, you have to restrict calories to lose weight. You need to be in a calorie deficit. You can't do this without restricting calories. Calories. So these are all just different ways to put you into a calorie deficit, but none of them are magic. And the problem with a lot of diets with the name 
time is they create an unhealthy relationship with food. They have you looking at some as good, some as bad. It makes you feel bad or guilty when you do eat off plan, which that should never happen. And this is a big part of what causes the all or nothing mindset so many people have. And you have almost 0% chance of any long-term success if you have the all or nothing mindset. I should probably make that its own number here, but I'm gonna lump it in here and just know, you cannot have the all or nothing mindset if you want success. All or nothing will always end in nothing. Okay, number five. Things like time, money, circumstances in your life, different obstacles that you have, these are all things that do nothing but show you what's a priority in your life. What I mean by this is there's always time. There's always availability for all the things that are the most important to you. If you say you don't have time for something, that just means other things in your life are of higher priority. And there's not necessarily even anything wrong with that. If you just say fitness, weight loss, whatever is not a priority for me, fine. But if you say that it's because you don't have time, honestly, that's kind of a slap in the face to everybody who does get results because you're basically saying, well, obviously they must have more time. And that's just not usually the case. Everybody's busy. We all have a lot going on and circumstances are never to blame for not getting where you want to be. It's only what you do with them. It just makes it easier to accept when we can place blame on those things, using them as our reason why we can't do it. And it helps you feel better about giving up, but to get where you want to be, that can't be the case anymore. You have to accept reality for what it is. Do what you can with that. Doesn't mean you need to be perfect all the time. Again, I'm gonna keep stressing that perfection not required and balance is a difficult thing, but understand that balance doesn't mean that you're gonna give equal effort to everything important all the time in your life always, right? It doesn't work that way. Balance means sometimes things get more time, sometimes they get less time, but all the things that are important to you still get some attention. If your work life or family life or whatever needs more, that means something's gonna come away from somewhere else. It's, it's kind of like a sliding scale, so to speak, but it's never zero, at least not for more than a short amount of time. Speaking of time, that kind of transitions me into number six, and that is please, please stop rushing the process. It doesn't matter how long it takes. You have your whole life ahead of you. Understand that no matter what, you can't give up. Like I talked about before, there is no done. There's ways to be more flexible and we don't have to go hard all the time. But if you wanna keep your results, you can't ever just be done. And the real problem with rushing the process is this is the very thing that keeps most people stuck. You do really extreme things, you eat way too low calorie, do way too much exercise, you run yourself into the ground, you run your metabolism into the ground, you get to the point where you just can't take it anymore, end up overeating again with the slower metabolism, and this cycle of yo-yo dieting just continues and it's because you put so much pressure on it needing to be done right away and it doesn't have to be. It's time to slow down and accept that it's just gonna take more time. I just made an Instagram post about this recently recently about how people overestimate what they can do in just a few months, but they underestimate what they can do in a few years if you just keep going. And on top of that, I can promise you, if there's a certain amount of time you look at this and say, if it takes that long, then it's not worth the effort, then I promise you, it's not worth the effort to begin with. Again, priorities. All right, number seven is something I've touched on a couple times already, but it deserves its own one, and that is, there is no end. You can never just be done. It's never this thing where you can just do something, be done, and then go back to the way things were. It doesn't work that way. You will gain the weight back. It has no chance of succeeding. And this is why you have to be able to continue to do this stuff even without the result. The result can't be the thing that keeps you going. It just can't. It's gonna stop at some point, whether it's because your body's adapted to it and it's fighting you too hard, even if you're not there yet, whether it's because mentally you're just not in it anymore, whether it's because you reached your goal, no matter what, that result stops. You can't just keep losing fat forever. If you do, you die. <laughs> but even then, like even just body composition improvements as a whole, it just doesn't literally change all the time, right? You have to go through different phases. This is why we reverse build, cut, and do these different things and have different goals and have performance-based goals during the reverse diet and things like that because you can't be done and you can't only just focus on the result. This is not going to be an easy thing, but nothing in life worth having is easy and the hard things are the things that shape you, that mold you, that make you grow. It's that struggle. That struggle makes you grow, right? You don't get better and grow from things that come easy. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you look back at your life, all the things that you're super proud of, that build confidence, that build pride, that you feel super, super proud about, how many of those things came easy? It's none of them. It's all the hard stuff. So don't run away from the hard stuff. Run towards it and understand that's gonna be the thing that's gonna make the biggest difference. All right, number eight, you have to start detaching your emotions 
from the process, from the result, from a scale number, from a body composition, from anything. Emotions don't make good decisions. It's logic that does. You need to have a plan in place and follow that plan. If the plan stops working, then we make adjustments, but we don't fall into, well, it's not worth it, so what's the point? And then just going nuts, that's gonna set you back. That's gonna keep you yo-yo dieting. You don't wanna do that. So do not let the result dictate your emotions and don't let the emotions from that result dictate your actions. The actions should stay the same no matter what. Number nine, some people might argue with me about this and actually people probably will argue about the whole dang video, I'm sure, but <laughs> this one in particular, and that is that losing the weight, getting in shape, whatever it might be you're trying to accomplish here, it's never gonna be the thing that makes you happy. And I think we oftentimes get so caught up in this and like, I have to reach this goal. If I don't reach this goal, I won't be happy. And once I get there, everything will be better and I'll be so happy. It just doesn't work that way. It can be a portion of your happiness. It can be what you did through the process to get the result that makes you happier because you've built character, you've built that pride, like I mentioned. And these things can contribute to it, but it's not like just getting a six pack or whatever it might be that your goal is, is gonna be like, okay, I'm here and now I'm happy. Usually it's, okay, I did this, I'm excited about it, I'm proud, but now what? Now where do I go? And then again, it goes back to, well, now you're not gonna see the result, motivation waivers, and that can spell trouble. So it's the means to the end that really matters. It's not the end itself. And number 10, even if you lose all the weight you wanna lose, keeping the weight off is the hardest part. It is super hard to keep the weight off and you have to accept a little bit of weight gain as well, especially if you wanna have any balance in your life and you can't get so caught up in that number, that body composition and staying that exact weight or whatever it may be and never having any deviation. That's typically not how weight maintenance works. We don't just get there and just, that's it, I'm done. No, it's kind of like a range and over time you might gain a little bit of weight back, especially you need to go through that reverse diet, which is usually the hardest part of the process. Most people have more hunger, are more tired, struggle more during the reverse. And I have plenty of videos on this, so I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail here, but it's usually the hardest part of the process, both from a mental and physiological aspect. There's a reason why so few people keep the weight off. There's lots of reasons, but it is really difficult to keep it off. But just because you got here doesn't mean there isn't plenty of work ahead of you, and there is. It's a good time to start getting calories up, cardio down, start working on some other areas, and enjoying more flexibility. But it's hard to do that if you get so wrapped up in being petrified to ever gain weight. That is no way to live your life, and again, everything that makes you happy and even sometimes it makes people less happy because even if they do lose the weight they're so terrified of gaining any back that they're completely miserable understand the difference between gaining a little bit of weight back to have more balance versus gaining all the weight back and you're not going to gain all the weight back unless you just go back to the way things were and just give up there's a big difference but also remember your goals are your responsibility and yours alone but that's a good thing because it means you're in control not the universe, not circumstances, not time, not money, not friends, not family, nothing else. Your goals are your responsibility and you have to do what you have to do to get where you want to be. And as soon as you accept that and stop placing blame, that's when everything comes together. Now, I hope this message came across the right way. I support you. I know you can do this. I just want to help you get where you want to be. And if you don't accept these things, it's unlikely that'll ever happen. By the way, I mentioned I had a video about how to fight hunger, and I really think this would help quite a bit if it's something you struggle with. So check out this top video next. Otherwise, I think you'll like this bottom video instead. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.